two day we present you our work on the predictive value of international prostate symptoms core items on alteration in lower urinary tract symptoms related quality of life after prostate biopsy. I'm Muslim Aditola Tolani, presenting on behalf of other researchers in our institution. Voiding dysfunction is a well documented complication of prostate biopsy and is reported a deterioration in IPSS or maximum urine flow rate after the biopsy, a predictor of the change in urinary tract symptom related quality of life following this procedure is important. The aim of this study was thus to assess the value of baseline figures and change in both IPSS item subscores and QMAX in predicting alteration in urinary tract symptoms related quality of life of patients undergoing transrectal prostate biopsy. A quarter of 61 patients were prospectively recruited over 18 months. Those with indications for transrectal prostate biopsy were included, while the exclusion criteria were those with pre-existing adult neurogenic urinary tract dysfunction, those on adult denigrated receptor blocker, those having a urethral spiral catheter, and those who had post-biopsy acute urinary retain. The baseline characteristics of the patients were obtained. Prior to on the seventh day after transrectal prostate biopsy, IPSS questionnaire your flow metry was done to document item subscores or IPSS and QMAX. Psychoanalysis was done using SPSS with P less than 0.05 considered significant. Here are our results. We noticed that the mean age of our study population was 64.9 years, median prostate surgery antigen level was 16.0 nanogram per mil, and total IPSS score was 12.21. We also observed that there was a statistically significant increase in death time frequency by about 0.5 points in comparison to the baseline, as well as a statistically significant decrease in maximum urinary flow rate by 2.7 points in comparison to the baseline. All other IPSS item subscores were not significantly changed in comparison to the baseline values. The only baseline PSS items that show significant correlation with change in border score were change in intermittency, change in urgency, and change in straining to void. However, all these correlations were weak. However, the before year shows that change in IPSS items of daytime frequency, change in urgency, change in slow stream, change in straining to void and change in nocturia were all statistically significant in terms of correlation. The change in slow stream and change in straining to void had correlation coefficient greater than 0. A regression analysis of independent predictors of change in border score in the study population showed that based on intermittency, based on urgency, and based on strain to void were not significant predictors of change in border score. However, Change in daytime frequency, change in urgency, change in slow stream, and change in straining to void were all significant independent predictors of change in border score, with change in strain to void contributing the most. From this study, we can see that only change in the severity of some IPSS items, rather than baseline values, had an impact on change in quality of life of the patients. Change in voiding symptoms, as well as strain to void, had the greatest contribution to change in border score. This could be because patients with low IPSS, as seen in this study, were more concerned about worsening of voiding symptoms rather than storage symptoms, and influence of IPSS items on border score may vary with population. In conclusion, change in the maximum urine flow rate had no impact on alteration in loot related quality of life of patients following posted biopsy. Variation in some voiding and storage symptoms, as well as change in straining to void subscore, directly affected loot related quality of life of these patients. These are our references. Thank you for listening.